ministry has told the president that the clemency petition of parliament attack convict Afzal Guru should be rejected and that he should be hanged. The final decision rests with the president. Guru was convicted of conspiracy in the December 2001 attack and was sentenced to death by the Supreme Court in 2004. That sentence was supposed to have been carried out on the 20th of October in 2006, but it was stayed after his wife filed a mercy petition. Over the years, the BJP has attacked the Congress several times on this issue, accusing the centre of going soft on terror by delaying Afzal Guru's hanging. Well, uh, we're going to get our first reactions now uh, from the Congress and the BJP on this uh, important decision taken by the uh, Home Ministry. We'll get to Mr. Manishankar Iyer of the Congress in just a little while. But Mr. Chandan Mitra, uh, the BJP, I'm sure, would be pleased that the Home Ministry has uh, finally moved on this. Well, certainly. I mean, this is something which has been uh, demanded by the BJP and I think all right-thinking people in the country. It has been 10 years since the absolutely heinous uh, attack on parliament, the symbol of Indian democracy and sovereignty, and the government has deliberately dilly dallied. The file kept getting tossed between the Home Ministry, the Delhi government, back to the Home Ministry. Ten years since the attack took place, and uh, almost um, as many years, I think just a few years short of that. Uh, by the time the various courts tried Mr. Abdul Guru and pronounced him guilty and sentenced him to uh, death. Now, also a new, I mean, the factor that you mentioned, the final decision rests with the president. I would like to point out that while that is so in theory, in practice, the decision lies with the government. The president is bound by the advice of the cabinet and I hope that the president uh, makes up uh, her mind, sends it to the cabinet and, and the cabinet uh, takes a clear-cut decision and recommends the hanging of Afzal Guru, uh, short of an early hanging, I think people's um, pent-up anger, uh, which has been, I mean, they're running out of patience, this will not be satisfied. Okay, till, so you wanted, uh, this, you wanted uh, to move along faster now that, now, now that the Home Ministry has moved on this. We do have Very Mr. So. We have Mr. So. Pargaonkar with us, you're the Chief Interlocutor for JNK, and there are repercussions of this, uh, if it does in indeed go through. So, what do you make of this decision coming at this time, firstly? Well, in the first place, I am against the death penalty per se. So, let me let me stay in that. So, no, whether it's Afzal or anyone else, I've been consistently against the, the death penalty. Secondly, I'm convinced that this was indeed a heinous crime committed by Afzal Guru, but the greater punishment for him <coughs> would be to languish in jail for the rest of his life rather than be sent to the gallows. Without any question, if there is any precipitate decision regarding the MHA's recommendation to the President, this is bound to create commotion, particularly in the Valley. And the timing will be terribly, terribly wrong because we've seen that the, the summer has been by and large okay, excepting for two recent incidents. We've seen that the Amarnath Yatra went off pretty well. We've seen a huge voter turnout in the elections. So things seem to be moving towards normalcy. All that could be put in jeopardy in case there is any precipitate move on the part of the president to go ahead and hang up some gold. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.